Ted Cruz is running on a platform in which he wants to make your taxes simpler. He's proposing a simple tax code. I have a news flash for him. We already do have a simple tax code. It's called the form 1040 EZ. For most people who go to work, make a living, come home and repeat, the 1040 EZ is brilliant. That's all. It's just one page, boom, boom, boom. You fill it in, get your refund, everybody's happy. That's a very simple tax code. The issue isn't uh, whether we need a simple tax code because we already do have simple tax codes. The problem is the complexity in our financial system. There are some people that live a simple financial world, okay? The, the, the people that I mentioned, the people that get up, go to work, go home and repeat. Those people live a, fi a, sim a simple financial lifestyle, good for them. There are others that live a more complicated financial lifestyle. They not only go to work, but they may also run their own business. They may also have a lot of investments. They may have real estate holdings. Those people have a more complicated financial life. And then there are those that have a really complicated financial life. They may be the chief executive officer of a publicly traded company. That you know, the, the going through the taxes, the corporate taxes, that's super crazy because corporate taxation, corporate finance is super crazy. You're living a very crazy financial world. OK, now to assume that we can bring this this uh, diversity of financial paradigms all together in a tax code that really has only 10 line items or 14 line items. I mean, good God, you've got to be absolutely crazy. You've got to completely ignore the details, the nuances, the complexity of our financial system because taxes only get more complicated depending upon how complicated your financial paradigm is. And you can tell that Ted Cruz is completely ignorant when it comes to financial and taxation issues because number one, the first line item on his Cruz flat tax form of 2017, number one, it says wage and investment income. That means that you are putting into a pool, the same pool, wages and investment income. Hello, these two things should never be the same thing. That is grossly unfair. What you're saying is that I'm gonna get taxed on purchases I made on gold bullion. I'm gonna get taxed on gold bullion the same way I get taxed on my income, on my wages at my job. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How is that fair to gold traders? How is that fair to stockbrokers? How is that fair to anybody that engages in, in the purchases of financial securities? That's not fair. You should not be taxed the same on your wages as you do on your investment income. That makes absolutely no sense in any uh, tax code of any country that I know. That, I mean, that's crazy. You're gonna get, you're gonna tax us, Ted Cruz, you're gonna tax us on our wages the same way that you tax us on our investment income? No, 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 no. I mean, one has to be dramatically lower. The investment income tax has to be dramatically lower. In fact, investment income should really be taxed 0% if you ask me, because let's look at it this way. Let's say you buy gold bullion for a long-term investment, okay? and you intend to sell gold bullion you know once the you know price of gold hits uh you know two thousand three thousand dollars whatever your price is you intend to sell it when it gets to or if it gets to that price well you should be able to keep all of those capital gains you should be able to keep 100 percent of those capital gains because you were the one to risk your money on the principal plus Plus, not only that, but you already paid a tax. You already paid a tax to acquire, to transact that gold bullion bar. You already paid the tax. So why should you pay another tax for a tax you already paid? That makes no sense, right? I mean, if you took a risk, you took a risk on the principal and you paid a tax. 
Now, let's say you bought that gold bullion bar at $1,000 and hey, you got lucky, the, the gold price went up to $2,000. You made a $1,000 profit. That $1,000 profit should be given to you 100%. There really should be no tax. There, there is no moral reason why the government should tax you more on that $1,000 because you already agreed to take a risk on the principal and you already paid your dues to the government. The government then can come back to you and say, whoa, you made a $1,000 profit. We weren't expecting you to make that profit, so we're gonna tax you again. Bull, bull. If you took the risk and you got the reward, you should keep that reward because you already paid for that risk and you already paid the tax. You know what Ted Cruz is doing, lying Ted Cruz, he wants to tax you on that investment income. He wants to tax you on that risk. Are you crazy? That is bull. That is total bull crap. Either way, you know, the, the fact of the matter is that you should not have to pay the same tax rate for wages as you do for investment income. I argue that the investment income should be taxed zero. There should be no taxes on investment income. However, if you do, if, if it is decided by the powers that be that investment income must be taxed, you can't tax it at the same rate as earned wages. That also is immoral. There's no moral justification. There's no financial justification. There's no incentivization justification to tax wages and investment income at the same rate. It makes no sense. It makes no sense economically, it makes no sense morally, it, it just doesn't work.